uh, family meeting is about something a little important. The environment? Well, not that important. How worms are little dirt snakes. Cash. Uh, we are running out of money for the month. Just use your card. Well, cards are money. There's money in it or on it. You can't see the money, but it's there or, or isn't. Yep. Money is real and finite. Although it's only real because we've all sort of agreed to pretend that it's real, sort of like laws and international borders. How do I get to be rich and powerful? That'll never happen, so put that out of your mind. Hi, Jeff, oh, how are you? It's like you're hey. in both of us. Oh, yeah, that's a weird picture, my man. <laughs> that's a great scene, isn't it? So, right great, back. so great to talk to you guys again. How's everything going? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for joining this morning. New season, Children Ruin Everything, one of my favorite shows, so... As a single guy, I just watch this. It's great birth control. I'll tell you that right now. So, <laughs> yeah, it's surprising. We get a lot of uh, uh, people who don't have kids who come up to us and tell us they love the show. They love watching us get tortured. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, Aaron, how are the kids ruining your lives this season? <laughs> oh well, the third season's. I mean, everything gets the ante gets up. I think when we have a new, uh, it sort of uh, goes right where season two left off. Um, these are, I think, our, our favorite batch of episodes. They're they're so fast and they're so funny. Um, it's everything from uh, budget problems to uh, there's a great episode where we're we're trying to finish an argument, but we never get a moment alone to do it. So it just keep sort of building up all these tiny little things over months. Um, and it's just like, again, it's 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 a bunch of it's all sorts of, of storylines and, and those little specifics that I've never really seen in family sitcoms before, whether it's about screen time or vasectomies. It's all for sort of uh, new takes and modern and new. And I think that's what really connected people. I was going to say, how does Astrid even get any me time this season? There's actually an episode called Me Time. You nailed it. <laughs> Look at you. It's like you're right in the writer's room. Um, yeah, I, I love that episode. She actually, uh, I forget what number it is, but she goes, she's been tasked to pick up a box at Don and Bo's house, her her sister, uh, while they're away and she the box arrives immediately and she she just pretends it hasn't come and spends the entire day there and gets busted it's one of my favorite episodes it's of the busted. season yes it's episode three <laughs> and can james even hide from parenting is that even possible no i don't think there is i think that's part of what me time is is that there's, he's there's a scene where we hide yeah there is a literal scene where we're hiding behind all the laundry just to read a book and relax and hide from the kids and uh they of course find us um they they root us out but uh yeah so that's i mean it's it's about finding those little moments where <clears throat> you can you can have a bit of yourselves and which is sort of what the whole series is about well you know the number one rule in hollywood is never work with the animals or children but tell me about working with the kids are they total professionals they really are the, i mean logan and michaela they're they're such amazing kids as people um and they're also very very talented and professional actors we got so lucky because things could have been real bad uh but no they're they're so wonderful and it's just it's fun to hang out with them every day i mean I love a lot of times you work with professional kids and they show up and they're they sort of have they act like they're 40 years old and they want room temperature water and they're you know these are they come they're they're just kids you know and i think the show embraces that and lets them be kids um and be weirdos and be hilarious and we're just reacting and it's a it's an easy job. They're so funny. I love how the show addresses humor to like real life situations. Like there's a, a scene where you talk about money, you know, and how, you know, things are tough, but you, you talk to kids, you know, like that you don't talk down to them. I like how you, you say, this is our situation and this is how we're going to deal with it. Yeah. I mean, I like, I, I, I like how Astrid and James manage their family. It's very kind of, I mean, it's current, uh, and it, you know, they treat the kids with respect and uh, hope to get some in return. <laughs> Have you ever heard from fans? I know the title says they children ruin everything, but they love their kids, right? So it's, and they're, that's always sort of very forward with them. Have you ever heard from fans that say, oh, this show reflects my own family situations? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're approached all the time. I and mean, the line that we, we sort of always get is it feels like you know, it feels like you guys have a camera in my living room which is the, the biggest compliment we could get and it's really a testament to the writing and kurt who's our showrunner where he's uh writing from his own life and every page is is really taken from from what's going on in his home so it's really a love letter to his family and that's because it's so specific i think it connects with families everywhere 
Well, Children Ruin Everything Season 3 on Roku. Thank you both again for joining me. Great show. It's so great to talk to you. And uh, let's do it again soon. Thanks for having us.